It's raining, raining, raining. It's raining, raining, raining. It's raining, raining, raining. So, I haven't told you guys this all weekend because my mother's been around and I just didn't know how to say this to you guys. But I have a great aunt, which is my mom's aunt, that passed away Friday at about four or five o'clock, somewhere around there. And she grew, she lived to be 95 years old, which is pretty insane. But she was a cool, cool lady. And had her arm timers towards the end there. You couldn't hardly hear. Anyways, the funeral was in town, so I was gonna, I wanted to go to it. Mom's like, I don't know, because I gotta work, I gotta sleep. And I was like, well, I wanna go. But that's up to you, because you're the driver. I can't control what you gotta do. She could have called in to work. She could have said, hey, work, blah, 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 blah. She could have took PTO, but she didn't. Then, a hot water on Friday decided to stop working. Again. We just got it fixed two months ago. And yet they said, oh, we'll put in this new one. It'll last two, three, four years. Da, da, da. It lasts two months. I think they were lying to get money from us. Whatever. They should pay for their mistake. But anyways... So we'll have the same people come out to fix it. And it's going to take two or three hours, they said. And they can only do it at nine in the morning tomorrow. And my mom's all pissy about it, going, oh my god, I'm not going to get enough sleep. And, and I got to work the next. It's like, take the day off. And then she was debating if she should go or not. And she's like, I really don't want you to go. Why can't I do anything by myself? Why do you have to go? Ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, really? I'm not allowed to go to a funeral for my great aunt who I was kind of close with. And she's like, you want that clowns? Um, did I not go to a 90th birthday party and had a great time and had fun talking with her? Did I not go to her house all the time when my uncle was alive and see her? I loved her. I loved her. Her stories that she used to tell us all the time about family members that they were family members but we didn't know them per se because we didn't see them a lot so I didn't really know who they are but I just love hearing stories about people's family and how they tell stories about their family and stuff and we're also watching my brother's dog for spring break while he goes to Florida on a trip and people are like why you let him go on a trip with this coronavirus and blah, 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 blah. It's like, God, leave me alone. It's like, leave my family alone. Let my brother do what he wants. So we've been going over to my brother's house since he's gone for a trip to take showers and use hot water and whatnot until we can get this issue fixed. We couldn't get it fixed today because, you know, the funeral thing. Mom's like, okay, we'll go, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, why do you have to go? Why can't I go by myself? And I'm like, I'm not allowed to grieve over a family member. So I had that big fight with her. And then she's like, fine. But don't talk. Who the fuck goes to a family function and not talk? People would think you're weird. They would look at you and go, why is your daughter not talking? Why is she not saying anything? Why is she just sitting there? They would think that's the weirdest thing on the planet. Dum dum. And then she's like, she's like, yeah, but every time I try to talk, you interrupt me. No, I don't. You interrupt me. Because when you say it's not important, when it may not be important to you because you hear it all the time, but it might be important to them because they don't hear it all the time. So won't you shut the fuck up and let them decide? Like, do you got to be a rude ass about it? Let me have fun with my family, too. Let me see my family. Then she thinks I'm stupid and is like, well, why would that? Don't be stupid and take pictures when people are grieving and they're sad. And then, so 
like, really, mother? You really think your daughter's that stupid? I even yelled at her and I said, you really think I'm that stupid to do something that dumb? She goes, well, I don't know about you sometimes. And I'm like, really? And then I proved it to her by going, when grandma passed away, did I take pictures at the funeral? No, I didn't. So why would I at this one? She goes, well, I don't know about you sometimes. It's like, maybe instead of assuming you get to know your daughter and know that she's not that stupid to take pictures at stuff like that. Did I do it at great grandmother's funeral? No. Did I do it at my cousin's funeral? No. Did I do it at so and so's funeral? No. Did I do it at grandpa's funeral? No. So why would I do it at this one? Like, give me a break. And I know this video is a lot of nag, 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 nag. But I needed to vent. And I thought, I'll do it in a YouTube video because maybe someone else is having the same problem with family members doing this to them. And, and they can relate. So, and, and I've been talking to my grandpa on my mom's side too. And he's been just upset and and just, he, he said, I'm ready to go. And I'm just like, don't talk like that. Because if I lose him, I, I, we told him in the past, if I lost him, I would be a blooming mess. I couldn't stand it, not being at that house anymore, and mm, it would just be sad, not seeing family anymore, if he goes, as sad as that is. And what sucks is he lost power 30 minutes after he went to bed last night, and it's like, how? It's not even a big storm. You saw the video. It was just raining, just like that, lightly raining. So, and he has to have a breathing thing on his nose to help him breathe while he sleeps. And if he doesn't have that, then he can't sleep and he has a tr he has trouble breathing. And he's like, well, that's my time to go. Whatever, I'm ready. And it's like, don't talk like that. That really hurts my feelings and upsets me because we love you. But he's had to deal with a lot of family members at the house and stuff because of this funeral. And then... Later that day, later today, they're going to bury her in another town where she's from and stuff. And it's like, we can't go because it's too far away and it's sad. And <laughs> Good thing I don't have to work, so if we wanted to go, we could have. My mom could have called in. I mean, they would understand because it's a family member. But I think, and then... And my mom knows I hate planning things and then getting going to bed early and then getting up early to go do these things and then have her cancer right at the last minute on me and say, sorry, we're not going after all. Because of da 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 And it's like, really, that's kind of annoying. Because I didn't get, I didn't get good, she's like, I didn't get much sleep last night and I've got the furnace guy coming tomorrow to fix our hot water or furnace, whatever the guy's called, to, that fixes plumber, I don't know what you call them, that fixes hot waters. Anyways, they're a company that's called Duck something, and so yeah, we're checking, doing them again, and she's worried about that, and I guarantee if it was right when she got off work, and it didn't take long, she'd be like, okay, let's go, but she made it, so I'm excuse going, <coughs> As I was getting ready, I decided, I'm not going, I'm too damn tired, and I'm shaking, and blah, blah, It's like, Mom, you shake all the fucking time. So don't bring that up as an excuse. Because you're talking on the phone just fine, you're using your phone just fine, you look just fine, acting just fine, you're just worried about getting sleep and the plumber and work. When you could have taken off work and not have to worry. That's your fault, not mine. And you then said, if you don't go, you're going to regret it and be pissed off at yourself. And now you're not going. It's like, you could have made up this mind last night. N not everybody can work around your fucking schedule. And go, oh, you need somebody at 7 because you get off work at 6 in the morning. Okay, we'll have, we'll, whoever we had at 7, we'll just cancel with them. We you and make it work for you so you can go to a funeral and be 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 It's like, no, Mom, that's not how the world works. And I'm tired of dealing with stupid people. Like, I know I can be stupid sometimes, 
but most of the time I'm pretty smart and when I say something people are like oh yeah that's a great idea or yeah right yeah right that ain't gonna work no you're wrong blah 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 and then when it happens they're like oh you were right sorry I didn't believe you anyways I'm gonna get going I will talk to you guys later I'm on spring break this week and who knows when these videos will come out because you know me I I went to the person on the Wet Movie 1 channel when he went live twice and made fun of the coronavirus. And you all were going, oh, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Don't take everything so serious. Then why don't you watch the news or have someone die in your family? Then we'll talk. He even had his dad die in his family, and yet he's still making fun of death. You don't make fun of death. That is just totally rude and not cool and not funny at all. You don't be like, oh, you trying to give me the coronavirus? Oh, get away, get away, get away. To a little boy that has no idea what the fuck the coronavirus is. Like, you don't make fun of that. And until you've watched the news and see that there were six people that have died from the coronavirus and how serious the coronavirus is and how serious people are taking it, you will see why it's not funny. It's like making fun of, of, of 9-11. Not cool. People have died. Just because it was six people doesn't mean anything. Just because it hasn't happened in your state and people are not going crazy in your state, getting water and toilet paper doesn't and, and stocking up on food doesn't mean that it's not happening. Like, yes, it's something to take serious, something not to joke about. So that's why I got mad and said, hey, Brandon, it's not funny to joke about something like that. You should not do it. You should not get on my case and reply back and tell me how wrong I am for, for telling him that and saying how wrong it is and telling me to get over it. It's not that serious. When, yes, it is. If it's killing people, it's serious. You don't make fun of death. That's how it goes. There's my brother's dog again. As I say, goodbye and later, haters. Ellie, 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 Ellie. Update on a hot water heater thing. We got it. And it works awesome. It's great. It too big so we had to take out our light that was in there the only light source we had so that kind of sucks but every five years we got to get it check up on it get it chained you know clean up whatever and then yeah it works great so now we got hot water again Doggy, 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 poppy, 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 poppy. Just like to say, happy Friday the 13th. Sci-Fi is having an all-day marathon. Woo, woo. Well, of course, I'm watching part two right now. Then I'll be watching all the others. And then I'll be taking a break for an hour at one o'clock to watch General Hospital. Then I'll go back to it. And yeah, I can't wait. Woot woot. I love my Friday the 13th. Woot woot.